welcome again to the for inaugural edition of BW Festival of Marketing, we have Mr. Puneet Bekal, Director of Marketing, MasterCard. Hi, Puneet. Hi. So, Puneet, uh, what I would like, like to know from you is that uh, it is said that this is a year of global slowdown, but India is still shining bright. So, in that, in that scenario, what do you look, how do you look at the marketing spends? Uh, is it going to go at a rise with the marketing budget? Or do we see a restraint in the same in the ad spends? The marketing budget uh, is a is a factor of the revenues, right, at the end of the day. But having said that, purely if you look at India specifically, uh, uh, purely if you look at India specifically, uh, there is a significant uh, view from the, from the, from research reports and relevant stakeholders, even from the government, if I may say so, that there is going to be increase in spends in tier two, tier three towns, right? Uh, for example, the government has identified 22 towns in India, which is going to be the next growth engine. Now, typically, brands have not focused on these tier two, tier three towns. And if you see, a lot of brands have shifting or shifting base to tier two, three towns because as increase expenditure, expense spends, uh, the GDP is increasing there. So yes, it's a new opportunity for all of us. So it's it's I think it's in it good stead for brands to explore and penetrate into new markets. And India definitely is uh, in, in in a place for most brands to expand their market share. Uh, reach out to new consumers uh, and say so. I'll just add a few more data points to it. For example, uh, last year, 80% of uh, uh, new consumers on e-commerce were from tier two, tier three towns. 75% of transactions which happened on e-commerce were was from tier two, tier three towns. So you can imagine as to what scope we have. So it's just tip of the iceberg. So there's a lot of opportunity in India. If so there will be, we'll see a largely massive uh, increase rather yes. than? Uh, okay, so uh, the world has moved to digital media massively, but also in the last one year we have seen that there is a rise of the legacy media as well when it comes to print, when it comes to television, when it comes to even OOH. So in this coming year ahead, do you see that uh, TV is going to lose its space or the legacy media is going to lose its share in the, in the meantime? Not really. Uh, I think uh, each brand has its own objectives and its own target audience uh, and every brand will apply to the media which they get maximum engagement. Uh, it can be as simple as that some brand might decide, you know what, I'll just go on OH, uh, hammer and tongs on OH, right? I, I was talking to one of the brand managers recently, and he mentioned that uh, the next two years' focus is to paint these towns, the brand, you know, so that there's saliency. So uh, if saliency is your measure, then obviously the media is different. Uh, if engagement is your measure, then it might be digital. If uh, recall is your measure, then obviously it's going to be TV. So it's a mix of uh, combinations that brands produce. One very important question that I want to check with you is that data is, data is becoming an area where awareness and regulation are kicking in. So uh, in that scenario, how will this impact precision, uh, precision marketing or creating relevant experiences for consumers at scale? Actually, it's a misnomer in this sense because uh, even if uh, the regulations come through, uh, and which I think and it should, uh, what the government is suggesting at this point in time. Uh, I don't think there is uh, any uh, compromise, if I may say so, on the modeling for to reach out to relevant stakeholders. Uh, so, uh, you know, for example, uh, I, I, I've done a course in IIM Calcutta in AI and ML in marketing analysis. And uh, one of the things which I, is still stuck in me is that if you look at when the machine looks at billions of data points at one place, philosophically if you say uh, most uh, uh, humans behave in a certain way or most cohorts behave in a certain way, right? So uh, hyper-personalization might be a, a issue, uh, but uh, behaviorally you know how uh, consumers uh, will consume or purchase. So I don't think it's going to compromise, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, modeling or uh, uh, output from a personalization perspective. What is the role of uh, CMOs or what is the role of marketeers in this redundant age of AI? I think it's, uh, uh, I feel that marketing is now in a position uh, of, uh, uh, of, it's actually not a support function anymore in most businesses, it's going to be a revenue driver. So uh, the more marketeers start uh, uh, indulging themselves and start analyzing data, uh, and make use of data uh, to reach out and make your brand relevant, uh, that's when your revenue increases, right? So uh, I don't see uh, an AI being um, a showstopper for marketing professionals. In fact, 
uh, I think uh, AI is a tool that marketing professionals should use uh, to catapult themselves and have a stronger position in every organization. Last question to you would be Puneet that uh, if you could, it's not even a question, if you could share some words of wisdom for the future marketeers who look up to you or want to enter or are the in the landscape of marketing at a very younger point. So what would, you, would be your uh, suggestion to them? I think uh, marketing is a, a very creative uh, and a flourishing function to be in. Uh, I feel uh, uh, e even before to what has happened till now, uh, the future of marketing is supremely exciting. Uh, for most uh, young professionals who want to be marketeers, I don't think this is, well, there is no better time to get into marketing. Uh, and especially in India, because the diversity of India uh, you know, there are so many different consumers, cohorts, every state is a different region in itself, right? The complexity of India in itself uh, is an exciting uh, place to be a marketer. Thank you. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. It was lovely to speak to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Puneet. Thank you.